We had Luke's special guest, Kamal. Do I make these hats? Me and my brother Aurora, 786, okay. brother Hugo, you know, maybe, maybe we, we moving. More to come, more to come. What are we talking about today? Skateboarding. Maybe like best videos of all time, when to throw in the towel, when to keep it pushing. Literally. We're going to do the product first because they want to talk about product first. Sterling Ruby, SR Studios, Bucket. Hold on, hold on. Whenever you put this hat, place it at the, the utmost highest point. Treat it with respect, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> treat it with respect. That's all that I ask. To the topic, we got this SR Studio ass hat, you know what I mean? The, we got the Givenchy Brooklyn, Brooklyn Carter. The fuck hat, you know? We don't give a fuck. Little, little camo Virgil, you know? Got little, little gang signs, little hands and shit. You know what I mean? Come on, man. It's B, baby. Yeah, this hard. Here we go. The freaky ass Balenciaga shirt, bro. There's like multiple arms. We gonna just run this. Yeah, this is Balenciaga. Little Chrome Spice Girl situation. Did you ever watch that as a kid? Am I just am I tripping? They had the lollipops. You ever had the lollipop? I remember there was a bodega. <laughs> that had the bootleg Pokemon cards that they sold you in like a clear plastic envelope looking shit. And it was like, they had the, the Spice Girls lolly. Them shit's was fire. It was like WWF ice cream era. Come on, baby. Sign me up. You, I don't know if you can special effects that, but like add some brolic ass arms on me. You know what I mean? Like like the SpongeBob inflatable shits. It's Rick. It's Rick, homie. You see the lines, you know the time. Come on, man. I'm gonna throw this back on though. It's like, it's getting freakier and freakier as we develop, you know what I mean? We got the Martine situation. You got a little bottle opener, your wallet. I guess you could attach keys or something to this. An eight ball to determine your future. And I guess maybe like AirPods. Is that how you're supposed to wear it? It's fire, right? You look like someone that lives in a post-apocalyptic Or you could make it like a, you know what I mean? I was it's like a slutty belt. Over, over your piece is nasty. LV trainers, runners, what, what's the word for this? Sprint? Sprint. A little, little green ass colorway, you know what I mean? Get your St. Patty on. The Jets colorway, you know what I mean? Doublet. Little, little nasty slot. It's good though, I fuck with these actually. When somebody brought these in, I was like, these ain't bad. Like, if you wanna wear Burks, but your dogs is cooked, you got the little, the coverage, you know what I mean? Like, so you can hide them. Snakeskin Rick. Snakeskin baskets. 40. Tiny Rick. You got the, 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 the leather linseys. Come on, man. The slap snap situation. It is really kinky. Skater shit, okay. I feel like I sound like an unk saying this shit, but it's like, yo, back in the day, it's like, different. Would you say that skating now is less real than it used to be? Compared yes, to yes. Yes. Because it was still like, you know, word of mouth. It wasn't as many people. It's like now it's like you could just search online, figure out, oh, this is how you do this and watch or whatever. It's like you really have to go outside to watch people. Be like, oh, like he put he put his foot like this. So this is this is how you know what's going on. But now it's bro, people be doing freaky shit. And it's like I feel like I stopped when it came to the point where it was like, you know, you go to Flush and Meadow Park and somebody's like, Yeah, I just did a triple flip uh, body burial or whatever. And it's like they're challenging you to games of skate and this and that. I respect it now, like skateboarding is skateboarding, but it's like back in the day, yo, we in this park, ain't shit in the park, and me and my man is like let's get a hundred signatures and sign this petition so we could get like a little skate ramp now they just this shit is all over the place and aside from that like we had this conversation too nobody ever really skated vert unless you was like yo i got the crib with the whole mini ramp situation it was like bro we's all out in the street skateboarding for like rich white kids that live in the woods. <laughs> yeah. and watch like, boom boom huck jam it's not realistic street skating has always been way cooler. so when do you think it's time for people to like stop skating age what that's a, that's a good question. My man's in the back throwing up to 20, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's about, probably about that time. Like, I remember my pop sat me down. And, yo, it was like some crazy ass meeting. It's like, I came to the crib and he's like, sit down. He's like, I wanna talk to you. He's like, yo, how many people make a living off skateboarding? I was started naming off like maybe like 10 skateboarders. He's like, how much they getting paid? And what, where they get their money from? Competitions? Oh, okay. How long you think you are gonna be skating? And bro, this shit just started like spinning in my mind and clicking. I was like, fuck. But then it's also, it hits a point where you jump down a set of stairs and you fall and this shit got, feel like you got hit by a Mack truck. It's not like when you was 10 years ago where it's like, all right, I'm gonna go run this back. Like, it's like, when this shit starts feeling away, it's like, you really start like, yo, am I about to do this? How am I gonna get bread doing this? If I fuck my shit up, like, it's over. You know what I mean? So it, you need, you know, 
Plus you got the insurance, the physical capabilities. If you out here, you know, 30 years old doing backflips and shit like that, you might still got it. But I feel like, you know, you could always skate, but I'm not about to be like, yeah, bro, I'm about to get this tall boy, go to LES Park and you know what I mean? Just chill with the homies. Do you think as of now, skating where it is culturally, do you think it's positive cultural force or negative? To me, I can't, I can't ever like say it's negative. We fought for this, you know what I mean? We, we turned this into what it is now, so we don't want to butt. But it's like, at the end of the day, it's, it's not the same. Like, I respect it. I feel it hit a certain point where it became like a fashion accessory. People would just walk around with skateboards. Awesome. Yeah, I skate, bro. I'm trying to get mad pussy. Well, we're coming up on time. I guess that's, uh, let's wrap it up. All right, um, what do I, do I say peace or something like that? <laughs> like, the fuck? Like, yo, thank you, uh, Luke's NYC. My brothers, you know, uh, yeah, come on, reporting live. Respect it. Always.